Classificação 12 anos. Hey everyone, I'm Yozo Tsujimoto, producer on the Monster Hunter series. I'm Yoshitake Suzuki, the director on Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. It's almost been one year since the release of Sunbreak on June 30th, 2022. A lot of players have decided to continue their adventures from Rise, and we are very thankful for that. Sunbreak has been getting several free updates since its release, but today is going to be the last digital event. So without further ado, let's have a look at the latest trailer. Enjoy! Hold it. Something's off. Bonus update version 16, available on June 8th, 2023, will add the final monster, Primordial Malzino. Originally, Amatsu, which was added in title update 5, was supposed to be the final monster. Yes, but we decided to do a bonus update to introduce Primordial Malzino, improve armor augmentation with new slots, and add several new decorations into the mix. For the currently available title update 5, the story centers around the villagers of Komura taking on Anamatsu. But in this bonus update, you'll get to witness the conclusion to the age-old relation between Malzino and the kingdom. You can take on Primordial Malzino from MR10 or higher. We hope you look forward to seeing its new moves and ecology. You'll be able to forge some cool weapons and armor using its materials as well, so don't miss out. After the bonus update, there will be new event quests until July 27th, 2023. These event quests will be very tough and provide a solid challenge. You can earn a variety of rewards, such as layered armor, so we hope you try to complete as many as you can. As far as paid DLC goes, as of version 15, the total lineup is complete. But version 16 will introduce DLC packs with a variety of themes for an affordable price. We hope you take this opportunity to try some of it out. Monster Hunter Rise and Sunbreak are also available on Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, Windows, PlayStation 5, and PlayStation 4. All of the content of version 14, 15, and 16, including Primordial Malzino, will release as a single title update as shown on screen, so keep an eye out for more info. We are now joined by Yasunori Ichinose, the director of Monster Hunter Rise, for a nice three-way conversation. Mr. Ichinose, everyone. 
Uh, I was gonna do my own introduction, but good to see you, everyone. I'm Yasunori Ichinose, director on Monster Hunter Rise. I think this is going to be the last digital event for Rise and Sunbreak, so there's a lot I'd like to talk about, and I hope everyone watching will enjoy our talk as well. Nowadays, it's easy for us to see reactions from players and the community in real time on social media and such. Has there been anything that caught your eye? When we did Rise and showed off canines for the first time, we got a lot of reactions saying how cute they were. And since the monsters are based on yokai, some people wondered, what's this monster based on? And if they're going to bring back this monster, what yokai is it going to be based on? And so on. And I was surprised at how many people guessed it right. <laughs> it was a lot of fun to watch. What about you, Mr. Suzuki? For Sunbreak, I decided to bring back a monster from Monster Hunter Frontier, Espinus, as I'm sure you're aware. When we announced this, we got so much fan feedback that the term even started trending for a while. Nobody saw that one coming. We pretty much had to recreate him from scratch. And the staff was very particular about getting him right, which was great. For Sunbreak, you even took to social media yourself to comment on some things directly. What was that like? Did you have any plans? Well, I can't disclose any specifics about the main features in advance, of course. But I still wanted to reveal some things before each update to get the fans excited about new upcoming features. I wanted them to imagine what kinds of things we were cooking up. So occasionally I'd let some pretty big hints slip through. Of course, you have to be very careful. Like, how much can I say? Can I get away with this without getting yelled at? There were times when I was treading on thin ice, but I mainly focused on info tying into the next update, while mixing in a variety of trivia. We also released some illustrations hinting at new monsters on Twitter and stuff. The ones you drew, right? No, that wasn't me. They were made by one of the designers for a color sample sheet. So I asked if I could have them, and I just put them up like that. I figured I'd be safe as long as I didn't say, this monster will be in the game. It was more to show off what kind of ideas we had. There were a lot of people comparing their speculations to the actual announcements. And then there's the hunting guide. Mr. Ichinose actually provided a lot of backup in coming up with ideas for the content. So it wasn't just me doing it alone. But Mr. Ichinose and the promotional team helped out a lot too. You actually did a lot behind the scenes for Sunbreak on social media. That's right. For some reason, my schedule just said recordings. Nobody ever told me anything about what we were doing. Yeah, we wanted you to show up in some of our clips. So when we were making Sunbreak, I approached Mr. Suzuki with some ideas of my own. Like, hey, it would be great if you could add this character to Elgato. And there were some ridiculous requests in there. I was surprised at how many ideas he actually ended up using. Initially, we were just going to place them around the canteen. But before we knew it, they were at the quest counter and the research lab. There were paintings all over the place. And they do change as you progress in the story. So if you've played the game and haven't noticed yet, you should try playing again and paying attention to the details. From the beginning? Yep, from scratch. I see. There's a lot of variety 
It's really cool. Both Rise and Sunbreak have very colorful NPCs. Do you have any particular favorites among the cast? I think I'd like to hear from Ryozo before we answer. Yes, me too. All right, I'll go first. I would pick Bahati from Sunbreak. He's pretty involved in the story. And I like how he looks like a brilliant scientist, but he's actually kind of goofy. And he's in a lot of cutscenes as well. That's right. He's actually one of the more prominent characters in cutscenes, yes. What about you two? I really like Tadori. You know who that is, right? Of course, of course. These creatures consume life. <laughs> of course I know him. These creatures consume life. Why do you have to say that twice? <laughs> These creatures... consume life. I really love that cutscene. I watched it so many times. It's a cutscene that seems so significant, right? Didn't we use this for a trailer? We did, we did. That's correct. It was an easy-to-use line. <laughs> I... I really like Master Utsushi. The fact that he's a really prolific and experienced hunter, but he never brags about his own strength. He treats everyone completely equally. And you can tell he really loves and cares for his favorite pupils. We even received Valentine's chocolate for him. That's right. Quite a lot, even. I was surprised. A lot of fans sent in Valentine's chocolate for Master Utsushi. So I immediately asked one of the designers to make a thank you illustration. So every time, she would draw something super fast a couple of days in advance, and every time we would put it up on social media. That's right. Moving on, considering that you've been working on these games for so long, there must have been a lot of ideas that ended up not making it in. Ones you can talk about? I'm not sure I can talk about any of them. No? Then anything you can just share a little bit of? So, Elgato Outpost has a leader called Admiral Gallius. And initially, he was going to be a silent character. Wouldn't say a single word. But he's central to the plot development, right? So he'd be standing right in the middle of the council meeting area, while Fiorain would be doing all the talking next to him. So, for instance, she'd say, we have to hunt this monster next. And she'd explain how to fight it and then go, right, Admiral? And he'd just nod with a grunt. And she'd go, understood, Admiral. Now, let us sally forth, fierce flame. And this would keep happening. So it turned into kind of a skit. <laughs> with Fiorain just looking for the right answers from someone who doesn't talk. <laughs> Which doesn't make for a compelling conversation. So we axed it. I guess I went a little too far there. There's this guy inside Bahari's research lab, right? During development, you could talk to him from atop the roof, and it would show his name. So I was like, he has a name? Of course he was removed later, but I was impressed at how detailed it was. That he even had a name? Yeah, it should be gone now, though. He's a very thorough bug checker. You can talk to him from up there? Hey, Suzuki, why can I talk to this guy? Today's show is a special occasion to bring you new information about the bonus update, which is why we invited Mr. Ichinose and Mr. Suzuki over. And I'm glad we were able to share all of this with you. To close things off, both directors have a final comment for all of you. Since Rise was released, we've been getting lots of fan feedback on social media and various other places, and we are very thankful for that. All of us here on the dev team will keep doing our best to deliver quality content to you, so we hope you keep enjoying the game for a long time to come. Thank you very much.
I was handed the baton from Rise and got to work on Sunbreak, and I've been overwhelmed by all of the positive comments, which have given the dev team the motivation to keep working hard to bring you new content like all of the updates. I'd like to once again express the team's appreciation to all of you. Thank you. And that about wraps things up for this event. It's been a little over two years since Monster Hunter Rise was released, and about one year since the release of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. We are all very thankful for the huge number of people who played these games. So from all of us here on the development team, thank you very much. Next year will be the 20th anniversary of the Monster Hunter series. We're going to keep doing our best to bring you new and exciting games, so we hope you'll continue to support us in the future as well. I'd like to close things off with our usual chant. Happy hunting!
Hunting, hunting.